Good Wednesday morning, everyone, and welcome into Daytime Tri-Cities. I'm Chris McIntosh, along with Amy Lynn, and we are gearing up for football. I tell you what, today <laughs> is Wednesday. We made it through half of the work week, and today is a huge day because yes. it is the night before. It is football eve. We're down to one day. One, one day. day. And we are doing massive pep rallies around Johnson City today to get everybody geared up for the big game. Right. We're going to start ours 4 o'clock at Food City on South Rhone Street. Right down the road here on South Rhone Street. Come by Food City from 4 to 6.30. Amy and I will be there. We'll have some other special guests there as well. We're going to talk football. We're going to be hooping it up and hooping it up and hooping it up. And Miss Johnson City is <laughs> going to be over there. We're going to have some cheerleaders yes. getting us ready. We're going to have some great food. And then we're going to take a little break because we need a little nap. And then at 8 o'clock, you can go over to ETSU. They're doing a bonfire yes, to get a big ready. And they're introducing the new Bucky mascot. Ooh. Yeah, you get to see the new mascot tonight. And they're going to have those 500, 500 standing room only tickets available then. So that will be the time. If you want to come by there and uh, pick up a ticket, that will be your last chance to get in. And the man of the hour just Woo! walked in. Coach Torbush is here. Yeah, I think so we rate. Excited. I think we rate pretty high on the scale that we got coaching here this morning. I tell you so. what, if he can coach football as well <laughs> as he can milk a cow, we're in good shape, right? <laughs> We've had so much fun with him. And Where did you see him milk like, a cow at? That's we were, what I want to know. We were in the celebrity cow milking ah, contest. And okay. that was the first time that I had met him. All and right. I said, man, we are we are in for a treat. So, yes, we had so much fun. You know what? I just As about we, bet every penny I got he can coach football better than he can milk a cow. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's not good. Yeah. He's not committal right now. Well, so. we are going to be talking to him about the upcoming season. Right. And, of course, we were talking, too, about the stadium getting all ready. Oh, yeah. It's going to be so much fun. There's going to be 9,000 of our closest friends over there, I think, tomorrow night. And that is <laughs> the hottest ticket. I have had, yeah. you know, of course, with being in the media, a lot of people think that we just have ample amounts of right. tickets that we just, you know, hand out. We just so walk around, A lot around, of people are yeah. like, can I get you? But this is one of those things I have never been asked for more tickets to anything then do you guys have extra ETSU tickets it's like Bristol Motor Speedway I, I get know. those I get those phone calls twice a year from Bristol now season? I'm getting those same phone calls from those cousins and you know people <laughs> I see about once or twice oh, a year oh no not your cousins yeah they're coming Chris out of the woodwork related to everybody in the Tri-Cities you can't go anywhere without always saying I think it's true oh look at someone that <laughs> wants to talk about the show and it's like oh no they just you know want to reminisce about family memories but you get those phone calls and saying hey yeah. I'd love to go to the Bucks game people are actually taking pictures of their tickets and putting them on Facebook and saying look what I got. Yeah, so, yeah it's, it's very big, cool. Big fun. Big it's going to be a whole lot of fun. We cannot wait. And of course, all that is coming up tomorrow. And like mm -hmm. you said, you've got some standing room only tickets that mm -hmm. are going to be available. And I would love that. That's a great place. I mean, I could just roam around over there and watch the game from the hillsides or wherever over yeah. there. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to seeing the layout of yeah. how we're going to be doing that. And of course, we've got yeah. the uh, Food City Fan Zone, which is where you and I will be. Right. We're going to be doing the tailgater of the game, which is going to be so much fun. We'll be taking the golf cart around the area, checking out everybody's tailgating setup. You need to get your tailgate on tomorrow night because you could win some money, win some prizes from yeah. Food City. Our good friends from Food City are going to hook somebody up. And of I course, mean, they yeah. do the same thing at the UT Games, and it yeah. is huge. Yes. And people go all out. They've mm -hmm. got their special beverages. They've got their meat of choice. They've got all of their game day activities. Get your blue and gold on. That's what I yeah. say. Yeah. You got yours all set out? <laughs> I'm ready to go. I've been ready to go for, what, uh, 12 years now? <laughs> it just doesn't, it does not seem like it's uh, It's really going to be here. Yeah. Tomorrow night. Looking it's forward gonna, to it. I'm looking forward to it as well. And we're getting started this afternoon with this pep rally. I can't wait. And, of course, going into Labor Day weekend, the unofficial end of summer. But at least plans? we have fall and football to look right. forward to. So I'm really looking forward to that. But yeah. yes, we're you know, you gotta enjoy the weather. It sounds like oh, it's yeah. gonna be a nice weekend. It sounds like maybe just a little slight chance of a thunderstorm here and there. Yeah. And so but no, it's gonna be great. I got family coming in from out of town. That's what you said. I'm, I'm going out of town and they're coming into town. I think I planned that right. I think you did. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure your wife is thrilled. And of course this is that time to get together with all your family. Oh, yeah. Have those last cookouts, mm -hmm. lake days. I'm sure we'll probably fire the grill up sometime this weekend. Yeah. A lot so. of people uh, taking advantage of South Holston Lake, right. those, those uh, areas and the restaurants. I'm actually going to be going out on the Boone Lake for a little while today. I heard you're launching a new Chris's fishing we're tips We're doing segment. some fishing tips today, so I've got fishing and football on my mind. So. He's got fishing, football, and golf. Those are the... And we've learned muscadine. Yes. <laughs> Would you let it go? <laughs> let it go. I mean, it's just, it's just. I hadn't brought that up in a while, but he said yeah, on Facebook since he actually show. got somebody that said they called you Mr. Muscadine. Mi Mr. Muscadine. I yeah. think we ought to keep that. 
I think that's a lot of fun. Hey, there are worse things, right? There are worse things you can be involved in. That's true. See? It keeps me off the streets anyway. And coming up here in just a couple of days, you're going to get to see our winery tour. It was oh, yeah. the Rocky Top. Winery Wine Trail. Trail. RockyTopWineTrail.com if you want more information. But Amy and I and our spouses and, and Jonathan and everybody available with the show, we had, we had a great time. It was a good team building experience. It was. It was. We were in the limo together riding around. <laughs> yeah, great. Team building. <laughs> yeah, winery tour. Whatever Very you nice. say. Very nice. Yeah, and, but and we, we learned a lot about each other. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Maybe a little too much. Uh, about it was fun. And we did manage to make a little pit stop at the uh, outlet. So that was always good. Because, well, you know, they have those big signs in the window that say like 50% off. I mean, you talk about. See this right bait. here? This is what her husband, John, was doing the whole time was talking about how much money was going through his like, fingers. Oh, oh. <laughs> but it was on sale. They were practically paying me to buy it. Uh -huh. Yep, that's it. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I hear you. Hey, we have a lot of fun stories on the show today. Yes. As we mentioned, we've got Coach Carl Torbush here. Looking forward to talking some football with Sitting him. right over there. Yeah. Man of the hour. We're Welcome getting ready to back. fire up on some ETSU football. Cannot wait. And then I'm taking you over to a local farm. Oh, yeah. Where they are not growing corn. No corn, no, no beans. No. No uh, taters. Hops. Hops. They're growing hops. Yeah. We're going to show you how it's done coming up. Food City is the premier sponsor of Daytime Tri-Cities.